Thank you for joining the second Mira webinar. Let's start the second episode called Open versus Closed Cycle. In the Open versus Closed Cycle, we'll cover following topics. Episode 1 Summary, Air Cycle Types, Mira Called Open Cycle, Mira Called Closed Cycle, Comparison with other solutions used, and more. First, let's have a brief summary of some important facts from the first episode called Introduction. F-gas regulation is the main driver of changes in the refrigeration industry nowadays. 2030 emissions must be lowered by two-thirds from 2014 levels. Simply said, HFC refrigerants have to be replaced with low GWP refrigerants. There is even possibility to re-evaluate current F-gas regulation to speed up the process. This will be known in approximately two years from now. How can we feel the F-gas regulation in present days? First is ban of refrigerants. Some refrigerants are no longer available. Substitutes for phased-out refrigerants are not always one-to-one -one replacement. And second, price increase of still available refrigerants. As much as hundreds of percent. This brought questioning the sustainability of some installations going into the future. In addition, black and gray market where banned refrigerants are still available, bringing challenges to the authorities responsible for this initiative. There is an exception for ULT applications, where it's not forbidden to use high GWP refrigerants. Although, let's not forget that availability of these refrigerants is rather questionable and you still have to pay unreal price. And to my knowledge, nobody knows when this exception expires. There are some natural refrigerants options available for ULT temperatures today. One example is ethane and propylene working in Cascade. Unfortunately, both of these are A3 classified refrigerants. That means higher flammability, which brings the burden of strict safety measures and potential risk. Other frequently used solution for ULT refrigeration is liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is great for cryogenic applications, but has rather questionable benefits when it comes to the ultra-low temperature applications. This brings us to the point where Mirai see the future of ULT refrigeration. It is with natural air as a refrigerant. It is by definition natural and also refrigerant that comes with no ODP or GWP. Since air is all around us, there is nobody or nothing regulating air. Air will be forever free of charge. Air has greater efficiency in the ULT range than other solutions used. Air cycle is based on the reverse Brighton cycle. See the TS diagram in the left bottom corner. Refrigeration machine schematic is linked with the TS diagram by working points 1 to 6. The most important for us today is process between point 5 and 6, which is called constant pressure heat supply. Air is either supplied directly to the cold chamber, which is the open cycle principle, or is supplied to the additional heat exchanger where it cools down another medium, which is the closed cycle principle. Let's have a look at the air cycle type description. For this purpose, reviews of alternative refrigeration technologies thesis by J.S. Lewis, I. Cheer, and S. A. Thassau was used. Closed cycle is a sealed system by definition. There is no direct contact between working fluid and the product being cooled. Therefore, additional heat exchanger is required. Heat exchanger has air on one side and secondary medium such as silicon oil on the other side. Since the air loop is closed, natural air can be substituted by either dry air or nitrogen with no special design of the machine required. Open cycle is open at the low pressure side. Cold air is supplied directly to the refrigerated space, cooling down the product which means air comes to the direct contact with the product. After passing through the recuperator, air is discharged to the atmosphere. Fresh air is drawn into the compressor from the atmosphere again. Semi-open slash closed cycle has the same refrigeration principle as the open cycle, which means that air is distributed directly to the cold chamber. Therefore, products come to the direct contact with the cold air. 
The key difference for this principle is that air is not discharged to the atmosphere after the recuperator and fresh air sucked to the compressor like previously described. But air in this case recirculates from the recuperator to the compressor, closing the loop and then going to the cold chamber repeatedly. Here are very simple schematics to even better understand the air cycle types. At Mirai, we use the terminology a little bit differently. Closed cycle at Mirai is the same as described before, but the open cycle Mirai machines are in fact working on the semi-open slash closed principle, but are called open cycle machines. Simply because the actual open cycle described before is not efficient and terminology of open cycle is much better than semi-open slash closed cycle. And with the same logic as on the slide before, here are two working principles of Mirai code machines. Closed is identical, open is the semi-open slash closed cycle. In the upcoming section, we'll cover the Mirai code machines for both open and closed cycle application with many details. In the open cycle configuration, we offer cooling capacity from 2.3 kW to 14.3 kW. Machines are either water or air cooled. The smallest open air cycle machine is Mirai Code 10. At the nomenclature, you can see that MC stands for Mirai Code. The number behind is the motor power consumption in kilowatts. O stands for open cycle and the last letter stands for means of system cooling, which is water in this case. Cooling capacity of Mirai Code 10 is up to 5.4 kilowatts and air mass flow is maximum 720 kilograms per hour. Medium open air cycle machine is Mirai Code 15. MC15 is the only machine that is cooled by air. Cooling capacity of MC15 is up to 9.5 kW. Air mass flow is maximum 1200 kg per hour. The largest open air cycle machine is Mirai Code 22. Cooling capacity of MC22 is up to 14.3 kW. Air mass flow is maximum 1250 kg per hour. Here are some benefits of Mirai Code Open Cycle. Precise temperature control. Temperature field uniformity in the cold chamber. Thanks to the airflow supplied by the machine itself. Dew point is reduced in time, resulting in no ice on stored products. Mirai Code operate continuously and do not require defrost procedures. Cold air and airflow is provided by the machine directly so there is no need for evaporator and fans. Regardless the refrigeration technology used, the number one issue in the ULT storage is humidity. Where with the humidity and low temperatures, ice will manifest. And this ice has to be removed eventually. Since the evaporator is the coldest element in the cold room, ice will start to grow there. Heat transfer surface will be reduced. Eventually, ice could clog the evaporator completely. Defrost is used to keep the evaporator operational, which means energy must be supplied to melt the ice and additional energy to cover heat gains during this recovery process. Some air cycle technology operating open cycle machines use the humidifiers, ice traps and other solutions with similar effect as evaporator. In conclusion, you need to supply energy to melt the ice. Mirai Intex came with innovative solution we call Humidity Extraction Device or HEED for short. Air is passing through the HEED into the chamber and also passing through when exiting the chamber. This device traps all humidity in the air and transports it out of the chamber in the form of ice mechanically, thus ensuring the continuous operation and reduced energy demand for ice removal compared to solutions where ice has to be melted. Let me explain further the working principle of humidity extraction device on Miracle 10 open cycle. 
The working principle is the same for all open cycle machines. The dark blue arrow is the air inlet coming from expander to the code room. The light blue arrow is the air outlet passing through the HEEDs filters back to the machine. Orange dotted arrow is a path of ice being removed from the chamber by conveyor belt to melt naturally outside the chamber. Filters are cleaned by pressurized air as seen in the dotted circle. This air is totally separate feature from the refrigeration air loop. Here is a very basic comparison of vapor compression systems with Miracle Open Cycle. Systems with evaporator. Heat exchanger is needed. Fans are needed. Heat created by defrost and heat created by fan motors has to be covered by additional energy. There is intermittent operation caused by defrosts. Sophisticated design is usually required for partial load operation. Miracle open cycle. Air is distributed directly to cold chamber with no need for additional fans. There is no need for covering defrost or fan gains. Therefore, lower cooling capacity is required. There is continuous operation with the air cycle machine. An inventory drive comes as a standard with Mirai code machines. Let's have a look on the closed cycle machines. In the closed cycle configuration, we offer cooling capacity from 3.5 kW to 16 kW. Machines are only water cooled. The smallest closed cycle machine is Mirai code 10T. The difference in the nomenclature are two letters. First one is C which stands for a closed cycle. And the other one is T on the end, which stands for that the machine is equipped with the additional heat exchanger from the factory. Cooling capacity of Miracle 10 t is up to 6.5 kW. Maximum operating pressure is four bars. The newest addition to our product line is the medium closed cycle machine Miracle 15T. Cooling capacity of MC15T is up to 9.8 kW. Maximum operating pressure is 5 bars. And the best feature of this machine is that the size is identical to MC10T but provides more than 50% higher cooling capacity. The biggest closed cycle machine is Miracle 23T. Cooling capacity of MC23T is up to 16 kW. Maximum operating pressure is 4 bars. Here are some benefits of Mirai Cold Closed Cycle. It is a plug and play solution with no commissioning and running in 45 minutes after installation begins. It can easily replace current refrigeration solutions used. Operates with very low pressures, same to the bike tire pressure. Operating condition is changed by changing air loop pressure. Use of nitrogen is recommended for applications where chemical reaction could occur when the heat exchanger is breached. Closed cycle machines cool down other working fluid without coming into the direct contact with it. As you can see in this example, Mirai Cold 15T is connected to cylinder cold application. This application can be freeze dryer, gas liquefier, solvent recovery, or any process cooling with ULT temperatures. As mentioned before, the closed cycle use pressure change in the air loop to manage operation. Main reasons are ambient temperature change or operating condition change. Note 1. High pressure increases air density and mass flow rate and reduces relative pressure losses. Note 2. For comparison purposes, Vapor compression system would use for the same operation liquid receiver with refrigerant in it. For this reason, closed cycle machines need pressurized air with purity class 1.2.1. You can either use external source if it is available on site or there is an optional accessory available called system pressurization unit installed inside Mirai Cold closed cycle machine providing the best solution for pressurized air. Same as with the open cycle, here are some basic examples comparing vapor compression systems with Mirai Cold closed cycle. With compressor systems, heat exchanger is needed. 
there is uncertain future for the refrigerants related to a gas topic. Refrigerant management and oil management is necessary. Due to the complicated design of the system, sometimes costly service downtimes can occur. There is usually sophisticated design needed for partial load operation. With Miracle Cool Cycle, heat exchanger is also needed. Air as a refrigerant is future proof. There is no need for leak checks or explosive environment measures. There is no oil for machine lubrication used. Mirai cold are very easy to maintain. And Mirai cold comes standard with inverter drive. This is a summary of all the Mirai cold benefits and the main reason why we are so proud of our refrigeration machines. If you are interested in these benefits in greater detail, please go watch the first episode available on the Mirai's YouTube channel. Or you can contact us directly if you are interested in any other additional information. This is all for the open versus closed cycle second episode. These are the past and future topics of Mirai webinar series. In addition, I would like to mention that our partner Thomas Frank from Revolution recently published efficiency report with sole focus on ultra low temperatures and refrigeration technologies used in this field. If you are interested, you can read it on revolution.de slash ULT dash report or clicking the link below. Thank you very much for your interest and we hope you will tune in for upcoming webinars.